to put all these gear together, uh, let's say it took me about five to six years. Uh, and I actually have about half of what I had before moving here to LA. start I think with the monitors because they're <laughs> the ones that catch the eye. Uh, I recently got the EVE to SC3012, my main monitors. They're absolute beasts. Uh, those are my favorite, of course. The most important thing in your studio is your monitoring system. And in fact, you see next to the, um, to the EVE, I have a pair of Kali uh, LP6 and a pair of uh, small JBL that I use for, for editing. I have Comp 3A and Comp 2A uh, from Golden Age Audio, which are very well-priced version of the LA-2A and the LA-3A. Uh, the 2A is full tube unit, swappable tubes. It sounds amazing and it's priced, you know, very well. I have um, two distressors. I used to have six. I, <laughs> I, when I moved here, I sold two. I had four. And, uh, a drummer saturator, multiband saturator, and um, stereo widener. This is one of the recent unit that I got, is a Heritage Successor Compressor. It sounds absolutely great. It's a, it's a diode bridge compressor, so it's very, very colored. Uh, I love it. Uh, another drummer, this one is uh, the 1974 Stereo Parametric EQ. I keep it on my two bus. And then basically we have my 500 series with one API 512. I don't really track in here, I don't record, but sometimes it happens we do an overdub, so I want to have a preamp and the 512 is definitely my favorite. West Audio Mimas, that's basically an 1176 in 500 series form. And it's uh, all the West Gear audio, I have three units, are full analog digitally controlled. My two Neves, uh, 542 tape emulators, these are always on my two bus, followed by my um, West Audio Dion, which is an SSL style compressor, it's an SLS, SSL style compressor on steroids. This thing has so many features. And then uh, West Audio, a Pultec uh, style EQ stereo. All these, again, digitally controlled and they light up when you touch them. Heritage unit, the 609 uh, stereo. And then the Drummer 1970, the new uh, channel, stereo channel strip. I love Drummer gear. I also have their monitor controller, their MC 3.1, which is not just a monitor controller. When people ask me often, like, what's the piece of gear that changed your workflow the most? This is it. But it's a monitor controller. Yeah, well, no, it's a mixing matrix. So with this thing, you can basically solo everything, not just low, mids and highs, you can, it has a, a mid side matrix on it. So you can solo your mids, you can solo your sides, you can solo every band. So you can solo your mids on the side or your lows on the mono or your highs on the mono. So to have it here while you're mixing, to have it like at the tip of your hands and not to have to run a plugin to do all this, it changes your, your, the way you mix and your workflow in, massively. I also have these effects for from TC Electronic that I absolutely love. It's a desktop desktop series. But gear gear list here goes up very quickly. 